Community Foundation. This is Tanya. How may I help you? It's another busy day at the Community Foundation of Frederick County. People are working hard to continue helping those in the community thrive. The organization holds more than 600 individual funds. It's given more than $29 million back to the community in scholarships and grants since beginning 25 years ago. Today is November 30th. Don Linton spoke with the president of the Baltimore Community Foundation in 1985. One of the things he said which really set us off was is you're too small. You have to be bigger and Frederick couldn't justify one. Linton started working with former Frederick City Police Chief Charlie Main and attorney Jerry Offit for a community foundation in Frederick County. In 1986, Linton accepted a $10,000 check from an anonymous person and the rest is history. And I really feel that the uh, uh, community foundation is one of the things that I've gotten into uh, through uh, <clears throat> Donald Lenton uh, that will enhance the value of the whole community. It's been just fantastic. It's just unbelievable uh, what has uh, developed uh, from it. And uh, I think it's a legacy that uh, he and I both uh, I've been very proud of. At that time we had like $500,000 in there for our kickoff and our first annual meeting was a year later where we had over a million dollars and our goal was five million five years and we met that in four years and, and although we started out very slow today it's become one of the greatest organizations in Frederick County. The foundation moved from a box under Linton's office to this building along West 2nd Street. I started with the Community Foundation in July of 1995. We were just shy of a hundred different funds under management and we were just a little bit under five million in assets. We were really excited that we had given out about three or four hundred thousand dollars that year in the form of grants and scholarships. And here we are um, 16 years later and we just awarded uh, three million back to the community in grants and scholarships. We have over 600 different funds and our asset base is hovering around the $60 million mark. The Community Foundation holds funds for a wide variety of community services like the arts, health care providers, the environment, and civic causes. We've come a long way in the last 10 years. In the beginning, we only had a dream. By 1996, $1 million had been invested into scholarships and grants. The Community Foundation of Frederick County is now one of the most prominent grants makers and supporters of nonprofit organizations in Frederick County. We also have one of the largest scholarship programs in Frederick County that supports students uh, pursuing a post-secondary education. We felt no student should ever be left behind because there wasn't money to go to college. And community, Frederick Community College is probably the greatest place to start. And we have many, many funds set up just for students I want to go to Frederick Community College. Yes, we do offer scholarships. Heather Dopsowski is one of the people to benefit from a Community Foundation teaching scholarship. When I was a senior in high school, I was a recipient of a scholarship from the Community Foundation. Um, it was an honor to receive it, and uh, I was my parents and myself were very happy to have some financial aid to help pay for college. Success like Dapsalski's wouldn't be possible without the help of donors, fund holders, and trustees. Charlie Trunk worked with the Community Foundation as a trust officer at Fredericktown Bank and Trust. Most of the recipients of the scholarship would probably never have been able to attend school or would have been uh, a great financial difficulty. And as you look at uh, all the uh, colleges all across the country, uh, you have upwards of 60, 70, 80 percent of the, of the student body receiving scholarships. Noreen Halls worked as the executive director of the Frederick County Mental Health Association and saw the firsthand benefits of receiving a grant. I put a grant request in for something really important to us. At that point, we were kind of like in another century with our computers and so forth. And they were kind enough to look ki kindly on our request and provide us with the computers we needed to come into the new century. Hall's hopes to give back. She's left a gift for the Community Foundation in her will and has set up an educational scholarship. Our son unfortunately died and we have uh, a memorial fund in his name. And uh, after we're no longer on this earth, it's important to us to be sure that 
children from Frederick High School still have that important opportunity to get some money with, with a scholarship. Frank and Bess Gladhill have farmed in Frederick County for decades. They too want to give back and are fund holders for three different funds. Their money helps train the disabled at the Goodwill Industries of the Monocacy Valley. There became a period in our life where we thought we wanted to give back to the county what it had given, part of what it had given to us and the community foundation was new at the time but we thought it was a good way to go. When you live on a dairy farm or when you farm, we like to maybe extend some of our wishes in the county. The Community Foundation holds funds for many nonprofits, including the Frederick Giving Project. Rebecca Southers and Melissa Signs hope to get younger professionals involved in their community and in philanthropy. The Community Foundation has been a great partner for the Frederick Giving Project. Uh, you know, one of the benefits for us is that it, it reduces our administrative load as far as you know, us being uh, you know, an independent organization, starting our own nonprofit would have been cumbersome administratively. We didn't need a um, formal organization to do what we needed to do. Uh, but the Community Foundation offered us that, that accountability and the trustworthiness, the um, stability of having been in the community for so long. With the Community Foundation movement, that means that everybody can be a philanthropist. That means that no matter your station in life, no matter where you are in life, you can participate in something bigger than yourself to better our community. The biggest thing, I guess, is the fact that we brought the community together in, in this whole area of, of nonprofits and, and giving. It is the people of the Frederick who have the great compassion to be, uh, have a great feeling for their fellow man and, and their neighbors. It just really uh, is a source of, of great uh, satisfaction in that you have made someone uh, complete their dream. A human needs assessment report identified things to concentrate on in the future. The assessment focused on three areas, health, youth, and basic human needs, such as housing and services for the homeless. Hello, big man. What can I get you? Another uh, memorable part in my 16-year tenure is conducting this community-wide needs assessment that we just completed. And that is really going to put us on a different path for the next 25 years. But it's an exciting time. It really it means that we are going to be more strategic, more focused. But it also means that through the generosity of our community, we now have more assets to make more impact where we need to make it. There are many visions for the next 25 years. I see the Community Foundation as an integral part of Frederick County. Um, I see young, young people getting involved in the giving project. I see it uh, continuing to grow. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been 25 years since it started and it's as big as it is now. I see that more and more people who want to do beneficial uh, contributions or use of their, uh, their wealth uh, are going to find that uh, the Community Foundation is the best way to go. I guess it just to uh, continue uh, its enlargement and uh, keep abreast of all the uh, changes in uh, educational uh, uh, activities. This is Frederick and we think it's a great community. Will you help us to continue in this uh, atmosphere? Still going and uh, we'll be through another generation. I'm just very pleased and very proud of what the Foundation has been able to accomplish in the last 25 years. And I give credit to the trustees that have given their time and served on the board because it takes a lot of energy and effort to make something like this successful. And I'm very, very pleased with the, the results. The Community Foundation of Frederick County has helped those in the area grow. Everyone from students and children to the homeless and those with special needs reach goals they may not have been able to achieve without the generosity of the community.